Oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? Good morning. This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Don't believe me? Believe the arts. Don't believe the arts. What's up, guys? This is hammer time, baby. This is hammer time. Oh, yeah. It's hammer time. Hammer time is hammer time. Hammer time is a time, guys, where we get to uh, talk about the things that matter to you. Uh... Anywhere from the start, which is writing your goals down. We've talked about this, right? Write your goals down. You guys got to you gotta, you gotta write your goals down. You got to prime yourself. Uh, you prime your canvas, right? Why don't you prime yourself too? Prime, prime, prime. Priming is... Uh, it's the practice of preparation. Preparation. You got to prepare. And we all prepare different ways. You know, some people... Meditate. Some people pray. Some people go for a walk. Some people, I don't know, exercise, uh, or maybe some people do all of the above. I don't know. Uh, one of the ways that I like to prepare myself is I like to write things down. As I get up, I start writing things down. It's uh, it keeps me engaged in what I want, the things that I want, the things that are needed for moi. It keeps me. It keeps my ish real. You know what I mean. Here, come with me. It's so it's so easy to lose track, to lose focus of the things that you need to do. It's very easy. It's it's not it's not difficult at all to to lose complete focus on what you're doing. Reason being is because doing things uh, it's where boys become men, right? Or uh, young people become people, persons. <laughs> it's uh, it sounds so misogynistic. <laughs> Where boys become men. <laughs> you ladies out there too, and everyone else. Uh, when you make that leap, you make that leap to adulthood. The hardest thing is is doing things. You know, you don't do things. You you have a you're gonna have a hard time. Doesn't matter how much you think about it, how much you talk about it. Everybody does that. Everybody talks and thinks about everything. They're like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that." Years go by and you still haven't done it, or you kind of do it, but it's kind of half-assed. It doesn't really. You don't. You don't go all the way in there. I know because I know because it happened to me. Uh, so I prime myself every morning and before I go to sleep. Right, I write my stuff down. I prime what I'm going to do. What what's what's all about. You know me, right? The things that matter to me. So the stuff that matters to me is is getting getting in that mood, in that mindset of, hey, you know what? Maybe I do care about this whole art thing. Maybe I do care about being an artist and selling artwork and showing artwork. Maybe I do care about that. Maybe I I told my friends that I didn't care about that because. I don't know, I didn't want to seem desperate, or I didn't want to see, seem salesy, or I didn't want to seem... Uh, I mean, art is the one thing that I love doing, you know, and, and it's the only thing that matters to me. So, maybe that's you, I don't know. That was definitely me. I don't want to appear like I want to make a living doing this. I don't want to appear like, I, um, like I'm desperate. I wish people would just buy from me because they see the value and not because I'm trying to sell them and on and on and on. All these things, right? And the reality is that in a in a uh, perfect world, that still wouldn't work. <laughs> people don't see value unless you communicate it to them. People don't see value. I mean, it's like relationships, you know? Unless, unless you communicate it, unless you, my, my, my coffee's here. <laughs> yeah, my coffee's here. I'm fancy like that. Pinky up, SpongeBob. I get my, I get my Starbucks delivered to me. Yeah. I, I gotta have to. Take one like that. And there we go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Check it out. Starbucks. 
coffee. Yeah. What's up, people? So maybe you're maybe you're an artist who's like, dude, I don't I don't I don't care about um or maybe you're not an artist. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't care about selling my artwork. I don't care about getting people to, to hear my message. I just, I want people to see the art. And, and uh, I want people to see the art and, and, and see the, the, the value, you know? See the value right away without, without me appearing too salesy or, or pushy or... Or God forbid that people think that I'm desperate, you know? And that was definitely me for a long time. Uh, I never really had a problem speaking in public. The thing is I didn't have practice, you know? I didn't have practice breakfast time. Uh, I, didn't have, I didn't have practice. So everything that I'm trying to be all healthy and shit. Look, check it out. Oatmeal, baby. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm not trying to be healthy. I should, though. <laughs> uh, the thing is that is that if you don't if you don't practice your communications of whatever you're doing, if you don't practice your communication, it, it doesn't matter whether you're you're maybe you're trying to land a an exhibit. Maybe you don't you're, you're not you're not out like Jose, right? You're not out to try to get paid for painting, for creating artwork. You're not out. That's not your thing, right? You have a you have a daytime job. You, maybe you're a doctor. I don't know. You're doing you're doing your thing. Maybe you're doing well, or you don't have to be a doctor. You just have your job, and, and you're you're extremely happy with your job, and you're doing great there. And you're like, dude, I, I don't want to get paid for for creating art. I wanna I wanna paint, and I wanna have a show. You know, I wanna have a show. I love that. You know, I wanna be an artist, and but it, the, the the money thing I don't care about. Look, then I'll tell you this. It doesn't matter where you lean, where you lean, lean, right? No matter where, yeah, it's a saying in Spanish. No matter where you lean, you, you, you're gonna you're gonna get scraped, right? Meaning meaning it's going to be uncomfortable. So let's say that you don't want that, right? You just want to show your work. You still have to do some so some sort of a, a sale. You have to make a sale. Right, and most people don't don't like hearing this, but you have to make some sort of sale. You need to sell yourself, your artwork, not not for exchange of, of, of money, but you need to sell yourself and your artwork to the gallery or to the shop or to the whatever, to anyone that's going to exhibit it, and let them know that that you are the the right candidate for that. You know. You need to let them know that you are the person, and and unless you unless you pitch yourself and find oh nuts, unless you pitch yourself and find that that uh, you find that angle, you figure out how. Maybe I can show you if you don't know how. I know how to do that. Yes. Uh, it's gonna be a little hard. You know, it's gonna be a little hard. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. To be able to pull it off. Because everything requires some sort of sale. Everything requires an agreement. Everything requires... Look, once I started understanding that in this world, uh, everything is value exchange. How's it going? Christina! Uh, once, I, once I learned that everything is value. Everything's value based. You, you, you can't go through the world without exchange of value. It's just... It, it doesn't exist. Which is... We, we're so sour about it that we call it money, but it's not. It's exchange of value. It doesn't matter what it is. You can't go through the world without exchanging value. Oh my God, this dog is going bananas. I swear. What do you want, dude? Okay, someone's at the door. Gotcha. Morning. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. So, it's it's just really hard to to uh, to go through the world and not not understand this, you know. So it doesn't matter whether you're going to sell artwork, you're going to exhibit artwork, you're going to get someone to write about you. Maybe 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 you don't. Again, you don't. You're not after monetizing it. Maybe you are. You want to be written. You know. You want someone to to to. To write about you, right? An article, uh, 
I don't know, a magazine, an online platform somewhere that where you're like, oh man, it makes you feel good, right? Oh my God, these mosquitoes have been killing me, I swear. Since yesterday. And I bought that, that mosquito spray. I didn't bring it, I forgot. At least that's the one who has it in the car. Me pusieron una friega here? Yeah, it was horrible. It was, it was like I had a, a, an allerg, uh, allergy reaction. Yeah, it was like everywhere. No? It's in that area, yeah. I think it's in that area. So, so there you guys have it. Uh, Find out, find out how to exchange, how to exchange value. I will be doing, I will be doing uh, workshops and classes, uh, teaching that, teaching what I know, you know, about uh, exchanging value. Uh, different, different types of value propositions, right? Again, it's it's asking for commission, asking for for, for money in exchange of a, a painting, a commission. Uh, I uh, <laughs> I have this I have this thing that I did for years. And the reason I stopped doing it was because I I got so uh, I got so in uh, I don't know I, I moved my focus right, but it doesn't mean it doesn't work. It works like gangbusters. <laughs> this is selling selling to people selling artwork that hasn't been made yet. This is a tricky one, okay. And and uh, I call this collection of art made to orders. And some people have been trying to mimic that uh, on, on different platforms. I've seen that. Uh, it, but I, I still notice that they don't know how to do it, you know, based on, on the literature that they write and how they do it. Uh, and I, I say mimic humbly because I know that I started doing it myself. Because <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of guts, you know. It takes a lot of guts to be like, yeah, I'll paint something like that for you. And it's not painted yet and you still have to land it, right? You have to, you have to make it happen for them. So, so it's a it's a very it's a very interesting little thing there, for artists who are like, man, I want to sell, but I don't, I don't have that much inventory. See, a lot of people see me. A lot of people see me uh, having you know thousands of pieces available to sell, and they're like, oh, it's easy for you because you got all this inventory. But you know what? I didn't always have inventory. As a matter of fact. Uh, I was doing really good without inventory. <laughs> you don't need inventory. Now, does it help? Of course it does. It expands you, right? But, but to get started, you don't even need inventory. All you have to do is, is deliver. You, you need, you need uh, delivery strength. Right? You need to know how to deliver on your promises. And, uh, but the whole inventory thing, a lot, of, a lot of artists use this thing like, oh man, I only have a handful of paintings. I don't have an inventory, so I can't really sell. That's not true. That's not true. There's different ways to go around that while you build a uh, body of work or whatever. So, anyways, guys, I'm getting hungry. I need to start eating. So I don't, I don't want to eat and, and then talk to you because it's no bueno. All right. Take care, guys. I will talk to you soon. Gotta go. Adios.